as all young men in the military feel, you have a lot of pride. And my pride was very bodily centric. What I mean is with my body came my identity. Minutes after my ID detonated, I felt like my identity had changed. I had no legs. I lost my fingers. That means no more running, no more music. I would never be able to type on a computer again, I thought. And then very quickly thereafter, I remembered I have my family and my Emily. What, what, how are they going to treat me? I'm not, I'm not Jesse Fletcher anymore. After three or four days of transportation, covered in bandages, filled with IVs and blood transfusions and surgeries, Emily walked in. She was wearing this giant yellow gown. I was in the emergency room. She looked at me and she smiled. And I seen the, the, the same smile and the same eyes that she had the, day, the same night I left for Afghanistan. And that's when I knew that it had nothing to do with my body. It was, there was a man deeper inside of me that had the pride and had that identity. So very quickly after I realized Emily's trust and faith in me, I regained that same identity that I had before that I thought I'd lost. With Emily's help, my caregiver, my future wife, and my best friend, her tiring efforts really helped me motivate myself to push and get out of there at a faster rate with a healthier mindset. To leave Walter Reed as fast as I did, I couldn't have done without Emily and the, the support that the, the caregivers have. These caregivers are the heart and soul behind the recovery.